So today we are going to be going over the Sony MDR 7506 headphones. Let's go ahead and start off with another frequency response, averaged and compensated by archings.com. As you'll see here, as compared to many of the other headphones that I have displayed up to this point, these headphones really are pretty flat. They do have the typical mid to high treble bump that many headphones tend to feature, but it's not nearly as dramatic as a lot of the other headphones that I've displayed up to this point. Let's go ahead and get into build quality. So these headphones are very sturdy in my experience, but very flimsy seemingly in build, but comfortable to wear for long periods of time. While being sturdy, in my experience, they do have a plasticky feel, but I don't ever feel like I'm going to accidentally break these headphones. The pads feel like real leather and just may be real leather, but do feel a bit flimsy-ish. The band's nice and sturdy and fits nicely around the head. It's very adaptable and flexible. And there even is little hinges that you can pop in and pop out to adjust the headphone wiring position. This is a feature that can be a bit annoying occasionally. If you do happen to fiddle with unhinging these too frequently, you could probably slowly start to degrade the headphone over time. So I don't recommend frequently disconnecting the headphones in this way, but it makes for a great option to really clean these headphones appropriately if you need to do that. As far as my personal experience with the sound of these headphones, I'm just going to start by saying that I find these to be my favorite pair of headphones of all the headphones that I have for mixing and making my music. They're the most flat while still maintaining a level of bass that I can actually work with. I feel like these headphones really do sound truly flat. When I think of flat, I think it's a flat plane. And if I make something that has bass, the bass hops up. I can see it. If I make something that has treble, the treble hops up and I can see it. It's all coming from a neutral place. And I feel like the Sony MDR 7506s are the best at doing just that. These are definitely my main driver headphones in my studio for that reason. And until I'm able to get, as I've mentioned in previous videos, the headphones that I'm longing for to have as my main driver headphones, if we're talking about affordable pricing and quality products, the Sony MDR 7506s definitely fit the bill. They're an industry standard and used in studios far and wide, and you will not be disappointed if you pick a pair of these up. I don't have too much more to say about these headphones other than they're the most comprehensive flat headphone that I own and they are actually enjoyable to listen to as well. That's something else that I feel I should mention. They do have a certain level of listenability that many other headphones simply won't bring to the table that are truly flat. And I feel that the soundstage is acceptable. I don't feel like it's super muffled against my head. There is a bit of space and separation. So when I'm working with my music, I can really kind of conceptualize and visualize the sounds that I'm working with. The Sony MDR 7506s are a very reliable headphone that again, I would recommend to anyone. I'm gonna go ahead and give these headphones a 9.5 out of 10. The only reason I'm giving them a 9.5 and not a perfect 10 is due to the fact that I feel that the construction, while sturdy, could be a bit better. Other than that, this is my take on the Sony MDR 7506s. I hope this video was useful for you guys. Have a lovely day.